a penis flash for the century. Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I am talking about I've Seen It All by Shako Takako. Okay, I'll read the back. We shall talk about it. We'll delve into it and get to the nitty gritty. I've Seen It All, Volume 3. Ayano is thrilled to have the exact hot relationship with his gorgeous and talented doctor. But what will happen when a surprised after-hours visit leads to a special request? Are good intentions enough when the heat is on? I've seen it all, throbs with passion of the committed doctor and their coy, cute patients. When tender treatment is required for a bruised and battered heart, who will step up to administer the healing touch? Now, this is volume three in the series. It is rated 18 plus. It's published by June. Now, it's been a while since I've reviewed volume two, so let me give you a little bit of a brief synopsis. In volume two, we ended up meeting two new antagonists, well, one old antagonist and a new one. The old antagonist got thrown off. The new one, we can't quite get rid of as easily. The new one is actually an intern inside of this this doctor's office that specializes in penises, and it takes place where their relationship starts to, to where Ayano's relationship starts to split off into a weird kind of romance. So let's start with art style, and then we'll continue with story. Art style-wise, it is very, very pretty. It is that traditional sort of look that it has had. It just, it's a very traditional manga sort of anime look. Nothing too odd. It still has continued roughly the same through all of the volumes. So I'm happy about that. And the cover art is absolutely beautiful with the little background art too being absolutely gorgeous. As far as the plot goes, we have a continuation where the new doctor friend that Ayano has made, or uh, Yumi, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep calling him Ayano, but Ayumi has made we see that he continues down that friendship and the doctor does not realize that he has started to develop feelings for Ayumi. Ayumi then proceeds to be naive like Ayumi always has been and doesn't realize that the doctor has fallen for him and it gets them down a twisted path of awkward kind of patient doctor rapey consensual examination. Then the story also proceeds to talk about the other main doctor, which I have to double check what his name is. Um, Dr. Kinazawa. Okay, Dr. Kinazawa is a partner inside of this firm, or this doctor practice, and we start to see him get an awkward relationship himself. And he's a lot more dense and dealing with a harder pickle or nut to crack in that sense. With Dr. Azano, um, oh, with the other doctor, he ends up realizing a little too late that his patient is interested in him, and he was interested in the patient at the same time, but sidestepped and kind of belittled their budding relationship and making it very awkward and seem insignificant. So it leaves us with a huge cliffhanger at the end where we don't know if the doctor's relationship is going to last but it's cute nonetheless. Now, I know I've really kind of made this a confusing synopsis, but I don't want to ruin a lot of the plot lines for you. I'll just tell you from the first plot line with um, Asana, or I mean Ayumi, with Ayumi falling in love, or having the doctor fall in love with him, we do see it work out in a way that we would hope, for the most part, but we also have the other new budding romance that we are is brand new it was thrown out of nowhere and it was done very skillfully it wasn't just garbage it was done very very skillfully i have thoroughly enjoyed this volume i gave it a three and a half out of four five sorry three and a half out of five it's really close to four i uh, i just i love tragic romance i love suspense but i do not like my romance to have a suspense especially one that is kind of cold and callous. So, yeah. I do encourage you guys to check out the series. I'm looking forward to Volume 4. Um, the author did mention in the, her front little thing, because she's now including little commentary of herself, 
in the front, like right here. This is all her commentary. She talked about how I've seen it all was only supposed to be a one shot. She never thought that it would continue on like this. So I'm hoping that this continues to be a series because this is really, really good. So yeah, if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. Give this a like and share with a friend who likes Yaoi. And I will be sure to talk to you guys later. So tell me your thought process on this. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!